Yes. Time for the Porky Quiz. Uh, yes. We do it about this time uh, every Friday morning. And uh, your chosen subject this week, chosen by you, is tomatoes. I never chose tomatoes. Yes, you did. I don't know anything about tomatoes, but. What do you mean, but, don't know anything about tomatoes? But I've been researching on them, so. Oh, have you? I think you're going to be rather surprised. Oh, right, OK. Mm. All right. Mm. Well, in that case, mm. as you know, yeah. uh, these uh, questions have been compiled by uh, an independent collection yep. of uh, quiz masters. Uh, if you get one right, this is the sound you will hear. Tomato. Something like it's that. It's brief. It is a bit brief. Mm. If you get one wrong, you'll hear this. Tomato. Oh, I see. Tomato and tomato. Tomato, Got tomato. It. Got it. So Got tomato it. if it's right. Subtle. Tomato Subtle. if it's Clever. wrong. Mm. Yeah, I think they're still working on that, actually. But yeah, I think they are. Yeah, they've only had about four hours. Panic in the control yeah, room no there. Mind. Mm. Now, question number one. Yes. Uh, I don't know if they're ready. Are you ready in there? Uh, right. Question number one. How many different varieties of tomatoes are there? <laughs> really nothing yet. You're already giving me that look. <laughs> that kind of inscrutable... Do you mean in this look. country, around the world? Well, actually, um, I'm, I'm quite willing to take a, a, a variety of answers on this. Okay. Because you can either give me the number that are available in British shops... Yes. ...different varieties... Yes. ...or the number of different varieties actually in the world. There's 51 in the world. That's not right. It is right. That's not. I researched it earlier. No, it isn't. What are you saying? Tomato. I'm saying it's 7,500. That's what's a rubbish. It's not. Utter nonsense. Right, well, it must be 51 in this country, then. No, that's not right, either. There's 18 in this country. No. <laughs> I think it is 18. I think it is. No, it's five. My, my memory's... Uh, there are five types back. of tomato on sale in British shops. You want me to tell you what they are? Yes. Vine tomatoes. Mm. Beef tomatoes. Beef. Plum tomatoes. Plum tomatoes. Plum tomatoes cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. And classic tomatoes. Classic. So, I think that's a very round zero out of one. No, gobbledygook. That's a trick question, anyway. Not at all. Question number two. Every tomato looks the same to most people. Rubbish. It does. Plum tomatoes are a completely tomato. different shape. Plum tomatoes only come in tins. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Where do you think they get them? But you can't buy them in Tesco's. Of course you can. No, you can't. They're in tin. <laughs> Plum tomatoes are in tins. You can buy them as they grow, no, like plum tomatoes. No, you can't. Anyway. Rubbish. Question number two. Yeah. You might have more chance of this one. Uh, can you name two stars from the movie Fried Green Tomatoes? Fried Green Tomatoes. It was quite an iconic film of the 90s, which is your yeah. kind of era. No, it's not my era. Right, one of them was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Yes, you're right. One of them yeah. was a woman, but you don't get yeah. any points for that. But she was like, you know, she was a popular 90s actress. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, that would figure since the film was So it must have been somebody like, uh, like Meryl Streep or somebody like that. I'm not saying it was Meryl Streep, but it's somebody like Meryl well, Streep. Well, you're going to have to give me a name. Somebody like Meryl Streep or... Somebody like Meryl Streep. Yeah, or that other woman who was in uh, Ekna Brakovich, whatever it's called. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, what Ekna was it? Ekna Brakovich, you know. Erin Brokovich. Who? Erin Brokovich. Erin Brokovich, Do you know yeah. something famous about Erin Brokovich? No. I think I'm right in saying this. Yeah. Like Michelle Moan mm. and the Ultimo Bra yes. was born in that film. Michelle Moan's company made the bra that uh, that Julie Roberts wore. Oh, is that right? And as a result of that, yeah. Ultimo became this massive World company. World famous, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, anyway, just a bit of trivia. Or it could have been Julia Roberts. Yeah, is that your answer? Yeah, Julia Roberts. Wrong. Tomato. Wrong. And as a male actor as well. Well, who was he? That was fried green tomato. <laughs> I reckon that was... Uh, it's probably Tom Hanks. Yeah, no, it wasn't, I'm afraid. Oh, Zero out of two. It? You could it? have had uh, Kathy Bates. Never heard of her. Jessica Tandy. Don't, never heard of never her. Never watched Driving Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy, yeah. Chris O'Donnell. Who's he? He played uh, Robin in one of the Batman films. That rubbish. And Mary Stuart Masterson. You could have had her. I've never heard of her. She's not related to Masterson here, by the way. No, she's not, no. Well, they'd probably like her to be. Uh, yeah. Question number three. Mm. Her, who is the largest producer of tomatoes? What do you mean? Who is the largest producer of tomatoes? Not a very difficult question. What, in the world? Yeah. Do you mean which country? Yes. That would be... China. Correct. Thank you. He has been hey. doing some research. Hey. Any idea how much they produce? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you get any more points for that. Well, lots and lots of Th thousands of tons. Thirty-four million tons. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. They even tin uh, put them in tins as well. Okay. Question number four. Have a listen to this. Any idea what that song is called? I bet it's got the word tomatoes in it. <laughs> mm? Well, is that your answer? Well, hang on, hang on. 
Who's the group to start off with? Well, I'm not telling you. So you just play some random I'm record. You a piece of music from Spain. What's the name of it? From it's a Spanish uh, record. Yeah, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? I'm not, giving, I'm not in the business of giving you clues, am I? Well, it's either Spanish or Mexican or something like that, and I'm not an expert on the on the Mexican um, top twenty. Mexican, you know, from well, it was from a, thirty years it ago. It was a very popular song worldwide. Worldwide, and it's still played song. on holidays that people go on. If you ever went to holiday, you'd have heard it. Uh, well, it's not Viva España. Is that your answer? No, well, give me an answer. Viva España. <laughs> We're off to the Gusta Brava plane. It's not that one, is it? It was number one in this Tomato. country. Number one in this country? Yeah, what did you say? What? What did you just say? I said Viva España. Yeah, it's not that. Wrong. No, I know, I said it wasn't Viva España. Oh, well, don't tell me what it isn't. No, tell me what it is. No, well, the I, quiz is I ask you a question, you don't tell mm. me what it isn't. Um, it, well, it must have been. If it had the word tomato in it, I can't remember an one hit with t- the word tomato in it. Oh, hang on, hang on. What about uh, Un Can Tomato? <laughs> Wasn't it made Un Can Tomato? No, it's called the Ketchup Song. The Ketchup Song, load of rubbish. And the honestly. band was called Las Ketchup. Las Ketchup. Where are they from? Uh, Spain. Well, I've told you I'm not an expert on the Spanish pop charts, you am I? You said you weren't an expert on the Mexican charts well, I'm not, either. But, but they speak Spanish. One out of four. Mm. Question number five. Mm. I feel certain that you'll get this one. Right. Which royal correspondent was once described as the big fat red tomato? Uh, our very old friend, James Whitaker. Tomato. Correct. Who, unfortunately, is no longer with us. That's right. He's no longer He was with called us. the Big Red Tomato because Princess Diana saw him once coming down the slopes in yeah. uh, Verbier. That's right. In a, in a, in a bright red um, uh, ski outfit yeah. and described him as the, the Big Red Fat Tomato. Yeah. Mm. Big Fat Red Tomato. Even. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was a bit round, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. Very good guy, though. He had a very red face as well, James. Yeah. Yeah. Two out of five. You're already looking uh, <sighs> like uh, you're doing yeah. better than last week. Yeah. Question yeah. number six. Mm. Which two football managers famously banned tomato ketchup from the club canteen? Uh well, Gus Poyer did. Uh, sorry, no, no, no. Correct that. Correct that. It was. It was. Um, it was. What's his name? Rut Sunderland. What's his name? Who was the predecessor to Gus Poyer? And that was. Uh, that was the. Um, it was the footballer. Who, what are you laughing at? <laughs> because uh, I what? don't know how your mind works. Hang on, hang on. It was the. He, he was the manager who pushed the referee over. Mm. Uh, Paolo Di Canio. Correct. Tomato. Paolo That's Di only one Canio. Part. It's only one. You need two. What do you mean? There are two. The question said, which two football managers famously banned tomato ketchup from the club canteen? Well, there's another manager. There is. I thought you, you meant can, two uh, at the same club. No. Well, it doesn't count if you say Gus Poyet and Paolo Di Canio, because they weren't there at the no, same time. No, 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 Paolo, Paolo Di Canio is one. What's the other? Well, was this before or after? Um, it was before. I don't really want to give you any more clues, though. Before Paolo Di Canio? Well, he must have been a right nutter, so um, that was probably... Are you about to libel somebody No, now? no, 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 no. Um, it could have been... Uh, I would say that was... That was... Probably Jose Mourinho. Correct. I'll tell you what, I don't know whether... Well, we'll see at the end. I might give you half a point for Paolo Di Canio. No, I want half a point for that. Oh. I got one name right. Yeah, well, you, you might get half a point for that. No, 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 you no, no. The other one was Juan no Day Ramos when he was at Spurs. Juan Day Ramos. He was only there five minutes. That doesn't count. What? It doesn't count. What do you mean it doesn't count? He, he, was, only the, he was only there for no, a... We uh, can ask the uh, ma- resident Spurs expert how long m- was he there. Was he there months. for five minutes? A matter of months. More minutes than five. A few more minutes than five, that's yeah. all. all right. He's hardly ever there. So at the moment... That's a trick question. At the moment... That's I'll... a despicable man trap that you put me in again. Now, here's one that you might like, because it's a yeah. question about the Beatles. Which okay. Beatles song yeah. originally had tomatoes in the lyric before it was changed? Uh, no, it was Now, wasn't... you are a Beatles expert, so you might know this it one. It wasn't yesterday, because that was scrambled eggs. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Now, are you sure about this? Very I know sure. everything about the Beatles. I don't remember them writing a record called Tomatoes. Well, they didn't write a record called Tomatoes. No. So listen to the question. Yeah. Which Beatles song mm. originally had Tomatoes mm. in the lyric before it was changed? In the lyric? Um. So it wasn't the title of a song. Right. So why did they take tomatoes out the lyrics then? Well, if I tell you, then you might guess it. So I'm not, really, mm. so I'm not in a position to help you. The, mm. uh, the, uh, the, the quiz masters won't allow me to give you too many clues. I reckon it was Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. It's not a bad guess, but uh, let's hear what Come song in. it is. No, that's not it. 
Oh, yeah, what would you think if I sang out the original lyric was this Would you, would you throw ripe tomatoes at me? That's rubbish. Not rubbish. It is rubbish. It's true. I think that's nonsense. No, no verification of that whatsoever. Two out of seven. Uh, bomb question. Question. Bon question. question. Question number eight. Which organisation recommended the throwing of tomatoes at members of the public as part of a 2008 awareness campaign? Say that again. Which organisation recommended the throwing of tomatoes at members of the public as part of a 2008 awareness campaign? Throwing tomatoes at the public? Yes. Awareness? Mm. Um, you, I would, you, you might be able to work it out if you think about it. Well, I think about it all the time. Do you? Yeah, the answers. I've got to thoroughly research my brain. Mm. I would say that would be... It's got to be one of these sort of goofy, social, sort of experimental type things, isn't it? No, you're kind of on the right track. Yeah. But I can't, yeah. I can't give you any more clues because I get we terrible. Haven't, you haven't given me. You, have, you haven't given me a clue. You haven't given, given me a clues. single clue. Or do you give me his bum clues as usual? Mm. I would say that that could be. Um, it'll be a. It'll be some sort of. Uh, Museum or um, or theatre or something. Museum. Is that museum. Your answer? Museum. Museum. Uh, let me see. Let me see. So I reckon it could be Tomato Museum. No, it could be the. Um, I I would say it's the V and A. The V and A. Museum. Victoria and Albert Museum. No, incorrect. It was Peter. People for the ethical treatment of animals uh, uh, no, who wanted people rubbish. to throw tomatoes at po those found wearing fur coats. Why? Well, because it's better than throwing blood on them. Well, that's disgusting. So you got also. two out of nine. No, I don't... Two out of eight, sorry. Yeah. Question number nine. Mm. In which 2009 movie do tomatoes and other foodstuffs fall from the sky on the town of Swallow Falls? What? Very popular film, this one. What year was the film? 2009. 2009. It's an animated film, if that's any help to you. Animated film, 2009? Mm. Oh, dear. I'm giving you way too many questions. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, how many years ago is that? That's um, six. seven years ago. That's six years ago. No, it's not. 2009 to 2015 is six, six, six. Yeah, but, it's, <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but it's only just become 2015, so it's five yeah. years well, that's ago. Even well, that's even further away from seven than well, six. Is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Five. <laughs> Let me just think this through. We'll have to hurry um, you. And you say it's an... An animated film. An animated film. I reckon it was Pocahontas. Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Because everybody knows in the well-known Pocahontas fable that food falls out of the sky. Well, I don't know of another film what that was on? animated in those days. It's called In those days? Yeah. Days of yore. It's called Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. What a load of rubbish. I've never heard of it. I don't film. even believe that exists. It's a very famous film. I don't believe that they exists. They made a sequel as well. I don't believe that exists, my honestly. Predi my prediction of you getting about three out of ten mm. is looking about right. Uh, Pocahontas was made approximately 14 years earlier. Was it? Mm. Well, they might have repeated it, mightn't they? Well, they might have done, but mm. it didn't mean any food was falling out of the sky. Yeah. Right, final question. Mm. Question number 10. Can you get three out of ten? Mm. Which was my prediction for you. What do you call a fear of tomatoes? Don't be ridiculous. Nobody's frightened <laughs> of tomatoes. <laughs> You're frightened of eggs. No, I'm not frightened of eggs. Just don't eat them. Because I they thought make you me researched Ill. it, you said. Didn't you look this up? Yeah, of course I looked it up. Yeah. Right. Well, what's yeah. the answer then? Uh, well, it's a Latin thing. It's a Latin thing. A Latin thing. Yeah. It? Right. Isn't it? Is that is that your description of modern culture? A bit like the ketchup song? No. It's a Latin thing. No. It's, uh, what I'm saying is, it's it's the medical term is Latin. Is it? Latin. I have no idea if it's Latin. And it's something like Sepracanus ultimatus or something like <laughs> that. No, it is. It is. It is. You're just making that up No, now, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Well, no, there's nothing no, like no, that. No, if you give me an English version, I'm going to contradict you because no. I know that it's in Latin. Well, you can contradict me as much as you like. You've got two out of ten so far. Mm -hmm. uh, you have still got two out of ten. Tomato. Incorrect. The answer is uh, lycopersicoa phobia, which doesn't sound Latin to me. Yeah. It's, well, it's rubbish. You know, the whole, the whole that test is, is rubbish. That, that How is... can you have a proper test, you know, Directed at somebody as well read as me on blinking tomatoes. Well, you it's wanted a mockery. A, you wanted a no, test of tomatoes. No, I never, I never, I All never, right. that's rubbish. Well, you got two out of ten.